my channel. Hey, today I am going to be doing a paternity court, uh, I call it a comment and reaction um, video. So if you're interested in that type of content, please hit the like button, subscribe, and stay tuned for the next clip. Okay? So. <clears throat> You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Williams Mayberry versus Wynn. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Mr. Williams, from the moment you saw Quinesha Mayberry, you believe that she is your biological daughter, even though the defendant claimed you are not. You hope today's results prove what you have known for 35 years. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Wynn, you claim That's a long that you time, have never years. given the plaintiff a reason to believe he is your daughter, Quinesha's father. In fact, you say you have always known who her dad is. Personal is that injury, correct? I want yes, to Your see Honor. What that's about. So, Mr. Williams, I'll start with you. Tell me about the moment you realized Quinesha was your daughter. Well, it was the first time I saw her. You know, she just she looked like me, fair skin, and I just I just knew she was my daughter. And when was this, sir? When she, um, yeah, about a week after she was born. Oh, right after she was born? Yes. You looked at her and oh, you said, like this is my daughter. Yep. Because you felt like she looked like you. Well, she's fair-skinned. I was fair-skinned. Fair Her skin. mom is dark and the other guy, he's darker. That's not a lot of criteria. <laughs> no, but I just <laughs> felt, I felt it in my heart. Babies are very pale when they're born. Well, I just felt it in my heart that she was mine. So you born. really did. You had yes. that feeling like, this is my daughter. Yes. And you've held on to that feeling. Yes. And so for 35 years, you've been saying, this is my daughter. Yes. But, Ms. Wynn, you say he's not her biological father. He's not her father, Your Honor. <laughs> She's not convinced. Color don't mean nothing. Because <laughs> you know, he light-skinned and she light-skinned. The other guy is dark-skinned, I'm dark-skinned. That don't prove that he's her father. It sure doesn't. I know who's her father. What's well, different not, when you got... It's not Stanley. Well, he seems Stanley. pretty certain that it is, and I would like to hear his she testimony. Like I want to start with the nature of your relationship. Can you take me back, Mr. Williams, and explain to the court what the nature of your relationship was with Ms. Wynn? Well, we was um, just close friends at one time. They used to Delta. live next door to me, and she used to come by where I used to work at probably 30, 40 times a day, just walking in front of the door well, to get my attention. She used to be passing us <laughs> about 30, 40 times a day in front of and that so, man, you know, John. we end up, you know, we did mess around, but it was never a relationship. So how long did this sexual relationship last? Uh, I don't remember, like four or five months, something like that. All right. Four or five months. So, Ms. Wynn, how do you remember your relationship with Mr. Williams? Can you take me back? I don't. Ah! I don't remember. And who? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? I don't, remember. Is it, I don't, I don't. remember at all. If he said it happened, it must have happened. Yeah, I, I don't remember. <laughs> so it is your testimony. You do not remember having sexual relations with Mr. Williams. No, Your Honor. I do not remember. <laughs> she said she don't remember. Do you remember walking past the store and trying to get his attention? Yes. So you remember, both of you all were so young, you remember and, going you, back and forth. he was working in the store, and you remember walking past trying to get his attention. Yes, I walked past that shoe shop probably about 10 times a day. About That's what he about said. 50 times maybe, a day. maybe more. And so what That's still don't prove he's the father. Times. So he should have tested her. Why wait 35 years to do this? And this I don't understand why Mr. Stanley brought me all the way here to get a DNA test. For answers. This is something we was already talking Come about on, doing anyway. Cute we just had a conversation probably last year, that we was going to go and get a DNA test. And where do she look like him at? <laughs> <laughs> she don't see him. <laughs> where did you grow up thinking was your father? Um, the man that signed my birth certificate, like, um, I'm, I met him, like, twice. She's I don't so feel cute. like we have a connection. I, I definitely don't look like him. I really don't feel like that's my father. Oh. She don't feel like she look like the You other had guy. no connection with him. Nope. So she's giving him a try, so let's and see. And you've only seen him, like, two times. Yep. And that was when I was like 18. So, yeah, I've been mom and dad to her, and I'm still mom and dad. You've been said, I'm a mom, mom and dad. probably a really great mom, but she wouldn't be standing here if you were the dad and could really fill those shoes. You aren't, and that's why she wants to know Big who her job. father is. Big and fat. that's no slight to you. I mean, you may have been an incredible mother, but 
she still has that desire to know who her father is. That's why we're here to support her and Mr. Williams and you to try to figure out what in the world is going know. on. I mean, like her mom. I don't think I've ever heard a, a, a mom say, I don't even remember this person, <laughs> sleeping with the person. Wow. And the dad be so you remember sleeping sure with him. that he's the biological father. This is a first. And he said for four or five remember. months. So father. I know he's not a father. Well, who is my daddy then? <laughs> Mommy. What? Mommy got a lot to say? I don't know. I don't know. It ain't well, Mr. Know. It ain't Stanley. But how do you know, guy. though? How do you know? What? She don't look nothing like him. Okay. Where Where do you see the resemblance at? Like, because she's light that, skin. Where is that the He lighter like, than her. <laughs> she like, she, look, she look more not. like me. What's she's just a lighter version. Yeah, just, we just, we here today way. just to find out if Stanley is her father. So we can put this all behind it. If this is your daughter, I can't give you the 35 years back. We just could go from here. That's right. I mean, the daughter's not going to be the And I see you like now, Mom. I, anyway, I see the emotion in your eyes. What are you feeling it's now in this moment? What are you feeling? Oh, don't cry, Paput. Don't cry. Well, I'm just upset. I'm hurt. That is taking so long, you know. It's my fault Why? that I did this to my daughter. Are you hoping today, Ms. Mayberry, that Mr. Williams is in fact your biological father? Do you believe he is? What do you feel? Well, I'm hoping, because like, I'm the only child. That means I would have siblings and whatnot. My uh, kids would have another grandparent. Can you look at your mom and tell her what you really feel? She looks for a bigger family. Well, mama. I feel like it, it's always been a piece missing. Like, I always had issues because I wanted brothers and sisters. Aww. I know. Take your time. Just be honest. Mm -hmm. Oh, good thing, Mom. Good thing, Mom. Good thing, Mom. Good thing, I could tell it was besties pretty much all her life. Can you finish what you wanted to say? Judge, quit egging it on. You don't have to gas it. Too. I don't want to keep dragging it along. I just want to know for me and for my kids. That's fair. The moms you feel sometimes about them. And I have those results for you. Well, what they had though? May I be in below? What they had though? All right, the results are in. Here we go. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows: In the case of Mayberry Williams versus Wynn, when it comes to Quinesia Mayberry. It has been determined by this court. He looked, she looked like mom, so I don't know. Mr. Williams, you are not the father. Yikes. I'm very sorry. Yikes. Did the mom was low key laugh? I'm sorry I could not give you the closure you needed. Ms. Wynn, can <sighs> you remember, identify, think about any other person you may have been dating at that time? It's the man that signed her birth certificate. Where is he? And so I mean, the mom didn't want to come. And she didn't want to come for this paternity court session, so I'm sure we're not going to see the result of that. But she said it's the man who signed her birth certificate, and the girl said she hadn't seen him since she was 18 years old. Will mom help her continue to search for her dad? We don't know. We hope so. It seems like she's really wanting to have that large family entity for her kids because she's the only child. So sometimes I think she feel like she's lonely, so... And mom can oblige her in that journey to just seek out any siblings and sisters and brothers. Because to be honest with you, I don't really be thinking sometimes they're actually looking for a father figure. 
sometimes you be so lonely as the only kid to where you like, oh, what if I have sisters and brothers? And what if they have kids? So I'll have nieces, I have nephews, my kids will have more cousins, I have a bigger family. And sometimes they think you just want to reconnect with the dad because you want to have that dad role fulfilled, but you have gone without that role fulfilled for so long. So sometimes that part of you becomes so numb to it. I'm not saying that it's okay. I'm saying sometimes it's not just reconnecting with dad for them. It's reconnecting with dad for the family that you never had, for that openness to have multiple cousins and multiple family members and um, people you can connect with, call on, go to family reunions with, hang out with. It's just a whole lot when it comes to family and you cannot replace them. So I really do think that she's not looking for one thing, which is her father. I think she's looking for a larger family. And I personally hope that she gets that. With that being said, guys, if you like this type of, like I said, this type of video, which I love, let me let me know below. Um, guys, send a comment. Uh, subscribe to my channel, of course. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.